Hi, welcome to my channel. Hey, welcome back. We're going to continue work on this Design 132B sport trailer design project. And I'm going to take off from the rear view of the vehicle here. And I'm going to take my tow vehicle and then do tracing paper sketch overlays to show you how I get started on this project. Now, uh, if you look at my uh, rear view drawing, I still have quite a few section lines on this. And the reason why is because it's going to remind me about the shapes of the tow vehicle that need to be translated over to the sport trailer. So what I what I did here was I went ahead and took a sheet of tracing paper. Okay. Oh, here we go. And I overlaid my drawing and then I used a Sharpie ultra fine point and I literally traced right over my contour drawing. And what I did was I didn't trace over the entire sketch. I just traced over uh, maybe a two thirds of it because I kind of figured I'm probably going to need as, about that much volume to accommodate for two passengers, uh, probably mostly for sleeping and also for uh, light sheltering. So that could be uh, counting that the passengers could be in seated position. It could have a, a taller section for standing, but uh, I, I have to make sure that I have that uh, room accounted for. Also, I have to keep in mind that this isn't a very large vehicle, so I can't be towing something as large as itself. So I figured if I can maybe cut it down about two thirds and it's made of lightweight materials, hey, I think I can make a go of it. All right, so let's go ahead and pull a couple of drawings away. And I kind of want to jump forward and kind of show you where I'm at. Uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and pull some of these markers off to the side just a little bit so we can see. And let me go ahead and see if I can zoom in a bit more so we can talk a little bit about where I am. So what I did was I went ahead and traced over two-thirds of my tow vehicle. And you see I went ahead and just kind of literally showed the the uh, the cabin area and that was mostly to see what kind of heights um, I would have to be at with regards to it uh, maybe being in the toad position I really don't think I need to be any taller than this but I also wanted to maintain the DNA of the vehicle so I wanted to make sure the styling and the forms uh, basically uh, reflected that of the tow vehicle and then I did one more tracing where I I took the section off what could, what would that trailer be if it was like completely compact and minimal. So uh, let's go ahead and go to that drawing now. And uh, you can see this drawing in black line shows it, and it really looks more like a trailer now. <laughs> if you look at it, uh, the tops were locked off. Uh, but what was interesting was while I, when I took off the top, it allowed me to reveal um, the center core section, right? This would be probably the most practical use of the trailer because it's got this full open area front to back. Um, I did have to reserve areas on the sides here uh, to accommodate the um, rear wheels. There's one on the left, oops, one on the left, one on the right. And then um, it would also allow me to have open pockets here for possible storage and also for structure, just to kind of give the trailer uh, you know, a bit of structure and also for a lot of the forms to translate themselves. You really can't do that unless you give the trailer some volume. Okay, so what I intend to do now that I have this drawing, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add on to it to start to address the zones. And when I say zones, as Z-O-N-E-S, is uh, where could I possibly locate two passengers, uh, both in shelter and in sleep mode, and also uh, provide ingress and egress, which is basically getting in and getting out of the trailer. So those are the uh, three main things I want to uh, uh uh, lay down and I also want to talk a little bit about the trailer bar here which is our connection to our tow vehicle all right so let's go ahead and take a fresh sheet of tracing paper and do just that so uh, again a lot of this um, we're just going to do mostly through tracing I think it's going to be the fastest easiest way to get to our design but let's first go ahead and take our Sharpie. Now I've gone ahead and zoomed in a little bit so we can kind of take a closer look at how we're going to approach this. And all I did was line up the tracing paper up along the top edge. So here we go. Okay. I'll take my Sharpie ultra fine point and trace literally over um, the center core section. All right. And then I'm going to project that line down to where I think the very bottom is going to be. Okay. And then I'm going to follow this contour 
and come along the outside of the vehicle. All right. What that means is that this is going to start to address um, sort of what happens, what bridges the interior really is the functional part of the sport trailer and the exterior, which is the styling portion of it. Now that can be a lot of things, but let's go ahead and continue tracing. Okay. Again, um, a more organic process. Um, you know, you can jump around. And you can see how the contour lines, leaving, leaving the contour lines in this drawing, really do help because what they do is they remind me of the forms I need to respect as I'm starting to develop the design. Okay. Now, certain details I probably will not complete um, because right now I'm kind of more interested in the functional uh, requirements of the trailer. Let's say the wheel can just be a very simple ellipse. Maybe a cylinder. Okay, maybe the center of the wheel. I'm also going to ghost in the other wheel on the far left. Oops. Okay, this is not a race. Just take your time and just trace over. Okay, mark your center points. Those are very important. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to start to address some of the functional uh, aspects. Now, one of the things was the ingress and egress, which is essentially the getting in and out of it. And now I'm going to tilt my drawing just a little bit so I can show you some of the thoughts that I have. And um, also use a little bit of um, just functional details such as uh, showing the rotation of the flip gate, right? That could be a simple 90 degree uh, fold. And there could possibly be maybe steps that deploy from that, okay? Now, I don't know mechanically how that's going to be done, but right now I just need to represent that transition right so it's it's going to have to allow me to come up in, into the space the next immediate um, thing that comes to my mind is this whole interior core okay now i'm just going to stay on the inside of this wall okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a marker here i'm going to grab a blue marker okay and i'm going to use the bullet nose and you see what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw directly into that inside wall, right? And I'm going to draw right along where the floor is located. And what that tells me is, is yes, uh, that's going to be the interior. And also, I've, tr I've tried to also uh, respect the thickness or the volume that's required for that wheel to be occupied there, okay? Uh, and then I'm going to come along this side where this blue line uh, left off. I'm going to come in, do a little dashed line to show how it relates to the other inside wall. Okay. So what I can do here is instead of a blue marker, I just come in with my black line. Okay. So that then defines where the floor is. And we'll just call this the central core. We'll just Put that in parentheses. Oops, sorry, you can't see that. And we'll just call this the floor area. Okay. Right. Uh, now, uh, a couple more things I want to uh, define before we move on to our next try is uh, the accommodations, which is really uh, how do we accommodate for two passengers? Uh, let's say in the most extreme mode, they'd either be standing or they'd be laying down sleeping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe just uh, shoot for the sleeping part. Now, again, this is this is not, um, uh, I wouldn't say super accurate, but what I can say is that I do know the height of the vehicle and the standing height of a person, and I'm thinking maybe at least uh, accommodate for at least a six-foot-tall person. They would probably fully extended would also would probably come right to the back wheels. So I would say this distance here is going to be at least six feet. Okay. From, from just behind the rear wheels to the very front. So I can go ahead and project a vertical line up into the inside walls. And that can take on um, a couple things. The beds can actually be inside the center core or they can, pop out and become outriggers, okay? So imagine, if you will, some sort of deployment um, that comes up and out 
and could provide the sleeping area. Okay, maybe, huh? And then uh, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and extend that detail outward. So this can be also a sleeping pad. Okay, again, I put a little question mark because I'm not quite sure. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my uh, reg uh, color marker. And let's go ahead and highlight the sleeping pads. Okay. Now, is this finalized? No. Um, far from it. What this does, it just puts a, a stake in the ground, so to speak. Um, it's one idea. Uh, you'll probably generate at least a half a dozen more configurations until the one that kind of resonates and makes sense and you're able to uh, fulfill the design uh, details and make it all fit inside the package, then you'll have arrived at uh, a, a final configuration. But I'm hoping this video here shows you the thought process that goes on uh, with regards to uh, starting that trailer design. Uh, I want you to just diagrammatically uh, indicate uh, those two or three uh, essential uh, uh, accommodations getting in, right, getting in. Uh, and out of the vehicle or the trailer and finding a common space and then accommodating for uh, people in that space. Okay. All right. In my next video, we'll go ahead and take off from this drawing and go to the next level of details. All right. Thanks for watching.